What's up guys, it's Moose King here with a video for you. I just wanted to give you a little update on what I use on my classes in case you guys were interested and I have some people asking for some new stuff and I'm trying something new here, so let's go. Alright, my professional class, what you've seen me use probably in every video I've I've posted so far. Trust me, it's not all I do, but it's what I'm trying to get the 300 knockout right now. So, in case you don't know what that is, that's the uh, special unlock. And if you'd like to see how to get that, please just put a comment down below. And let me know. Anyway, my favorite sniper by far is the Scout Elite. As you can see, I have it silver, and I have all the attachments I want on it. Um, it's my favorite just because all these other snipers right here, I I don't like really like these. Some I, I'll explain these later. But I like the sniper bolt actions up here, and the AWM is just as good, if not better, power-wise than the Scout Elite. But still, most of the shots are two-shot kills, unless you get a headshot, which is the same with the Scout Elite. It just probably has a little bit less, or it has probably a little bit higher damage at a little bit farther range. And it really doesn't make that much of a difference. What the difference for me is, is when you put the straight pull on the Scout Elite. You see me zoom out. I sometimes stay zoomed in between shots. Sometimes zoom out. But the bolt action on the Scout Elite is the quickest action out of all the snipers. So you can get more fo more shots off faster. That's why I like it. MAC-10 special unlock for completing professional assignment 2. I like laser trip mines to place behind me. You have to use cameras for the professional assignment too and to get the 300 knockout um, grappling hooks is just a great thing to have if you're trying to get in high spots and snipe frag grenade clears cover like clears trees and things if you want to shoot down a long area you can clear stuff at, or I mean it's the most powerful grenade in the game so might as well use it and so my other suggestions if you don't want to use the scout elite will probably be the AWM or the Sega I've used all four of these weapons a little bit and this one I like the sight on this better but this is more like an AK version but a semi-auto so for you people that like the AK or if you've used the AK 74 version in this game you probably like the Sega as a semi-auto and yeah that's it and for the SWAT I, I like to use the SOCOM for my semi-auto need it's like the mk14 for those of you that played black ops as you can see i have it bronzed out because i do use it quite a bit have unlocked all the attachments for it same setup on all my sniper classes to be honest with a laser trip mine grappling hook frag and any kind of melee weapon my mac 10 is just a beast in the east it just destroys everything that comes upon it and again i like to use a scout elite on this class though the R700 is a little bit less of a, as good of a sniper as the AWM for the criminals, but I still like to use the Scout Elite. Personally, it's all personal preference, so up to you, but these are just what I'm, I'm just letting you know what I use. We'll go up to Operator next. Operator for my police, I like to use the M16. As you can see, I have it silver and working towards gold. Um, I like to use the suppressor on it just because people don't really know where you're at as much and... I like that. I like people not knowing where I'm at. Extended mags is a must, because really, what else do you want really want here? I mean, you don't really need this because you're not firing from the hip ever with an MK or M16. You know, whatever kind of sight you prefer, I've used the red dot sights, a bunch of them. I've used the holographic. I've used the green dot. I mean, whatever, whatever you prefer. I've tried ACOG. It's just wherever you like to, whatever range you like to play at, and whatever you prefer. Um, G17 special special unlock pistol for the operator class um, and yeah it's I mean it's better than these ones so if you're gonna use a pistol use that if you're gonna use the operator class though the two things you have to put as your gadgets are first aid pack and defibrillator those are like musts and if you're gonna play like hotwire and you want to use stunt driver put it over top of first aid pack it's just that's I mean these two are what you need if you're gonna be a medic on the battlefield as you can see these two things are the same as always and yeah I just don't even mess with outlets like that's quite a bit of money to spend and I'm still testing stuff out I mean I have 269,000 to spend but I'd rather not and for the criminal side uh, the AKM it's pretty nice um, I have as you can see I've used it quite a bit I have the bronze plated for it and yeah same as the uh, police for this one except I 
I must not have put the G17 on there, but I mean you could use whatever pistol you prefer. I don't really use pistols much that very often, like in less emergency situations. And then another weapon I like in this case is the AK-74, which for some reason I like the iron sights better than any other sight. But to me, like I've, I've tried the Cobra, and like I said, I tried all those other sights on my M16, and it's basically the same kind of a thing. But I don't know why the iron sights on this gun just to me look the best. Um, extended mags is good. It's always good. I mean, that's like must for like assault rifles. What else? You, you don't really need any of that other stuff. Heavy barrel. I just use this over suppressor. If I'm trying to be stealthy, use suppressor. If I'm not, try to use heavy barrel because it's the best thing for it. And angled grip control. Angled grip ups your control while the stubby grip ups your accuracy. Control is how much bounce the gun has when you fire it. Accuracy is the bullet spread. So to be honest, I'd rather have angled grip so I have better control over my weapon. And the bullet spread's already pretty small on this gun. So yeah, that's my that's my uh, operator class for heroes and villains, or police, criminals, whatever you want to say. And try to pick up the pace here. Criminals, I like to use the P90. I like the plain red dot sight, Cobra. Uh, laser sight is important on submachine guns to me because I like to use hip fire spray sometimes so put that on there heavy barrel I uh, kind of looks sick on this gun but I just I mean it's just makes the gun overall better and bronze camo 44 magnum it's a great pistol out of all these pistols I don't have this one yet but th it's better than the snub uh, armored insert and sabotage I have this was using this class on hot wire so I put on sabotage because it's kind of a challenge for get for getting operator assignment to or mechanic assignment to done um, but you really can use any of these tools are useful when using the operator class except for these two I mean you can use them when you want but they're not the greatest thing I mean they're good for traversing the map but for me I just like to run around as an operator or mechanic excuse me um, oh for the SWAT I like to use the K10 and or the MPX doesn't really matter I don't. I haven't really played with this much on the police side because I like the P90 a lot better. But both these guns, when I get them upgraded, I will use the same thing as I did on the other side. As with the P90, the 350, the 357 Magnum is basically the 44 Magnum of this side. Um, and then yeah, I was playing hot wire with this stuff. So, I mean, again, you could use literally any one of these things, whatever your play style plays best. All right, and last but not least, the Enforcer class. I like to use the battle rifles on this, the Scar H on the police side and the uh, SA-58 on the criminal side. If you want to use a shotgun, the best shotgun, I don't, I, I think on either side is the 8, 870p Magnum. It's just, it's, it's good. Trust me. I have almost everything unlocked for the Scar. I don't really use this class that much, to be honest. But I have a friend who has the Bald Eagle, and I know a lot of people are going for the Bald Eagle and have it already. And it is a good pistol, so if you want that, try to get it. Um, ammo box, people always need an ammo out there. You can use breaching charges, and you can use ballistic shield. Those are my top three right there, and they're on the top. Ironically, I mean, if you're playing hot wire, you can use stunt driver, but uh, for those of you that don't know what stunt driver does, it just gives you nitrous on your car, any car you get into. So, And yeah, other than that, we'll go to the criminal side. It's the same thing, except I have the SA-58. And to be honest, with these battle rifles, they have a lot of kick and a lot of power. Like, So I like to use this Comp M4S Red Dot Sight. My one friend, you were pwned. You might see him in some of my videos. And you might hear him in some of my videos that I make in the future. But he's just he, he told me to use this Comp M4S Red Dot Sight on it. And that's what I did. And I just unlocked this recently, so I haven't even touched it. Other than that, guys, those are my classes. I hope you enjoyed watching and leave a comment down below on whether or not you want to see more of this less of this and what else you want to see uh like subscribe and thanks for watching bye